Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. For this video, we will discuss self practice 1.1g and 1.1h. So, have a look at self practice 1.1g first. So, tip number one sketch each of the following graph of a quadratic function. For A, first write the, uh, write the function. And then look at the value of a here is 2 which is greater than 0 then we will get this uh, small shape of graph and the value of c is negative 24 we get from this so the y intercept is negative 24 then uh, when fx equals to 0 then you factorize this you will get uh, the values for x which is negative 4 and 3. So, this is the uh, graph. So, you, you will sketch, uh, sketch the graph like this. So, next, question B. This is the function. Then, look at the value of uh, A here. A is equal to 1. So, uh, we will get this shape of graph and then the value of c is 16 then the y intercept is 16 and we factorize this quadratic equation we will get the value of x so this is the graph next for c this is the function look at the value of a so we will uh, sketch this shape of the graph which is a set shape graph and then the value of c here is 40 so our y intercept is equal to 40 and factorize this we'll get the values of x is negative 4 and 5 so this is the graph Next, question D. This is the function. Since the value of A is negative 2, so the shape of the graph will be a uh, set shape graph. And then this is the y intercept. So when you factorize this uh, quadratic equation, you will get the values of x are negative 2 and 2. And you can cash the graph. So this is the y intercept and the x intercept here or the roots. Next, question number two. Sketch each of the following graph of quadratic function. So have a look at the values of the value of a is equals to one. So we will get the small shape graph. Since b equals to 0, then axis of symmetry is the y axis. The value of c is 5, so our y intercept is 5. Thus, the minimum point is 0, 5. So, just choose one uh, value for x, then substitute into the function to get the value of y. So, 40. So, this is how your graph will look like. This is the max, uh, the minimum point. And this one, you choose number 3 just now. Okay, for this value, for the value of x here, you can choose any number. Uh, number 2, number 4 is okay. So for b... Function is 2x squared plus 1. Have a look at the value of a. is greater than 0. Then uh, we will get the small shape graph. Then the value of b is equal to 0. So we know that axis of symmetry is the y axis. The value of c is 1. So the y intercept is 1. Thus the minimum point is 0, 1. Next. We substitute a one value of x here for this. I choose 2. 
and then uh, we'll get the value of y is 9. So, this is how the graph will look like. x or c, this is the function. Since a is equals to negative 1, which is less than 0, so we'll get a set shape graph. Value of b is 0. Then the axis of symmetry will be the y axis. The value of c is 2, so the y intersect is 2. That's the minimum point is 0, 2. The minimum x and min maximum point here depend on the shape of the graph. So I choose 2 for x, so I substitute the value of x here with 2. And then I'll get the value of y or fx is negative 2. So this is the graph. Next, self practice 1.1h. This is problem solving question. A rectangular field needs to be fenced up during uh, using mesh wire. The length of the field is 5x plus 20. So this is the length. And its width is x meter. Express the area of the field A meter square in terms of x. So the, the formula of Area for rectangle is length times width. So, x times the length, 5x plus 20. So, you just expand this, you'll get 5x squared plus 20x. This is the answer for A. Next, for B, given the area of field is 5,100, Calculate the cost of fencing the field if the cost of the mesh wire used is 20 ringgit per meter. So you just uh, substitute here the value of the area of the field. And then you write this in the form of general form. This is the general form of quadratic equation. Look at this, 520 and 5,100. Uh, 5, uh, we can take up 5 first, in bracket, x squared plus 4x minus 1020. Then we factorize in the bracket. You will get this. So the value of x is 30 and negative 34. This one we ignore because uh, the value of x cannot be negative. Then... You substitute the value of x here into uh, this algebraic uh, expression so that you will get the length. So the length is 120, 170 and the width is 30 meter. Next, the perimeter because uh, we want to uh, fence the field. So the perimeter is... 2 times the length plus uh, 2 times the width. So this is the total perimeter of the field, 400 meter. Then since here say that uh, 20 ringgit per meter, so the cost will be 400 meter times 20 ringgit. So total cost for fencing the field is 8,000. Question number two, Encik Kamarul drove his car at an average speed of 20 t minus 20 km per hour for t minus 3 hours along a highway. The distance traveled by Encik Kamarul was 2,025 km. The highway speed limit is 110 km per hour. Did Encik Kamarul follow the highway speed limit? So first, you have to know the formula of speed. Formula of speed equals to distance over time taken. So here, given the speed and the time taken. So you substitute the value of uh, speed, time taken, and also the distance here, 2025. Then, to 20t minus 20, you times with t minus 3. In a bracket, then you expand this to bracket. 
and write in the general form. So this is the general form. And then you take out 5. So in the bracket, you factorize. And then you will get the value of t. t is actually the time. So uh, the time cannot be negative. So we know the negative values. Negative value here. So we substitute t here into the speed. 20 times t minus 20 is 90 km per hour. So, did uh, Encik uh, Kamara follow the highway speed limit? So the answer is yes. Because uh, Encik Kamara only drove her car with 90 km per hour for the speed. So that's all. Thank you and see you in the next video.